Libra, welcome. Let's go, gang. Word on the street. What's it going to be this week, Libra? What's the gossip about you? What are people saying? What's the word on the street? Let's see. We're starting with the sun at the bottom. You're destined for the spotlight. Some people are realizing that. Number three at the bottom of the Lenormand, the ship. You're sailing towards your dream life, Libra. In all actuality, at the bottom of the channeled message deck, we have dream life, dream home, dream car, dream vacations. Honestly, people are talking about you moving towards your dreams. Your ships are arriving. That's the feeling I'm getting. But I'm going to shuffle. No, we just shuffled once on camera. Let's get straight into it, Libra. What's the word on the street about Libra? Thank you, spirit. Ace of Pentacles. But you know what? It came up in reverse. There is some type of gossip surrounding your finances. They think you had it and you lost it. Because in reverse, it's like, oh, the pentacle is falling. Wow. It's like magic money, Libra. People are wondering, how are the pentacles just seem to be flying towards you? Just flying out of nowhere towards you, Libra. That's the imagery I'm getting. Because look, it's like these hands keep sending down pentacles. Word on the street is you have a connection to spirit and it's proving to be quite lucrative. You're very blessed. It's like raining pentacles, Libra, which is very interesting because it rained all day today. Word on the street about Libra, the hermit. <laughs> Um, your powers could intimidate or frighten people that don't know you. The person in this hermit card is levitating, enlightened, not afraid to go it alone, not afraid to accomplish things solo. People feel like you're on a solo mission. At this time, Libra, some people could feel like you think you're better than others because this person is levitating in the hermit card. I'm not saying that's the case at all. I'm just saying that's word on the street. The hermit with death and rebirth at the bottom. Some of you truly went inward after the transformation of someone close to you. The death and the rebirth followed by this levitating hermit. Again, Phoenix rising energy. You levitated above the loss. It's like you rose above the pain. I heard the drastic change. And I'm not saying you're healed or you're over it in any way. It just seems like people
You made a way. You figured a way out. Out of the matrix. People could be talking about how, how is Libra figuring out how to escape the matrix. <laughs> Justice. With the six of pentacles. People are talking about how balanced you are or how balanced you appear. Both of these cards talk about balance. Look at the giving and receiving in the Six of Pentacles. The balance between the light and the dark in this Justice card. They are talking about You've definitely got some type of money situation figured out. I see the figure eight in this card as well. You are tapped in to abundance. I heard the universal vibration of abundance. And you've been able to keep the light over the dark. Your good outweighs the bad. Your light shines through the dark, Libra. Word on the street about Libra. Thank you, Spirit. The Page of Wands with the Seven of Wands. Okay. This Page of Wands... People are saying you seem so youthful. You seem like you're in a very high vibrational, um, youthful energy, but you have your boundaries up, Libra. The Seven of Wands, people are poking and prodding, but you're almost in this, uh, it's almost like your aura, your energy, body, you, your physical vessel, it's all protected. Spirit has you in this protection bubble. So you can continue to be creative. Express yourself. You're very young at heart. No matter your age, with the Page of Wands, you're very young at heart. You could know you are being attacked with magic with this seven of wands. You choose to keep your boundaries up and it's like you don't care. You're unfazed. She's meditating. Her solar plexus is the only chakra in this card that is lit and showing. The solar chakra. That's right here, and it is your chakra of your personal power. All this golden light energy. It's the yellow chakra as well. The sun. You realize your power, and you're protecting it. And you realize you're a very creative soul, and you're protecting your projects. You're protecting your careers. You're protecting your soul. Your inner child with the page of wands and the seven of wands. Not for the play play, right? When it comes to business, you're not for the play play. You will protect yourself you will protect your inner child. The world is watching you, Libra. The world is watching you step through this portal, go through these changes. Anticipation. 
anticipation of where you will go next. That's the word on the street. Uh-oh. We just got the seven of wands with the three of cups, the queen of pentacles, and the five of wands. Excuse me, the seven of swords with the three of cups, the queen of pentacles, and the five of wands. Okay. So you have a queen of pentacles energy, Libra. This is a court card. This is someone outside of us. This is not the king of swords. This is not the queen of swords. This is not the empress. So this is not our energy in this reading. This person is a feminine Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This feminine is in a group of at least three others or more, or they're just in a group of three. I heard the power of three. So this Queen of Pentacles and this group is trying to use the power of three. To bring some type to hide that you are competition? Five of Wands, Seven of Swords? To try to hide you from some type of competition? They're trying to diminish your light is what I just heard. These feminines. Yeah, they want to be the one to reach the light. You see all them in the five of wands. They're all fighting and scurrying for the fire. They will be getting burned. 12, 12 on the clock. They could have been doing this on the 12, 12 portal. Some type of magic. Or around this last full moon. That we had about a week ago. I heard play with fire. Get burned. That's what these feminines will be experiencing. Trying to mess with you, Libra. Let's see, top card. The three of wands. <laughs> Look how strong you are all on your own. I heard all on your lonesome. You are a powerhouse by yourself. A leader, a seasoned surfer. I heard you're not new to this, you're true to this. The world back at the bottom. More portal energy. Anything else about Libra? Word on the street. And then we're going to use the, Lenor the Lenormand and my channeled message cards. Okay, we just got two cards. The hanged one came out with a magician. Number one and number 12. 112? That's interesting. Someone could be watching some a Libra I'm speaking to out there. That used to be an R&B group. I think from the 90s, early 2000, 112. How interesting. People are trying to figure out ways how to slow your growth, how to suspend your magic. Because the hanged one, this person is like suspended in air. I heard you've gained a lot of enlightenment there. Wherever you've been, Libra, you've gained a lot of enlightenment there. Your magic 
your magics are very powerful. It's going to create generational wealth with that eight energy back at the bottom with the six of pentacles, that abundance. There are people actively trying to do magic to suspend your flow of abundance with the six of pentacles, the magician, and the hanged man. All right, let's use the Lenormand. What's the word on the street about Libra? The garden. This is the community talking. Talk of the town, Libra. You're the talk of the town. Something changed in 2021. Something truly shifted for you. I heard paradigm shift because look at this. The garden card is card 20. And then we have the mountain card at the bottom, 21. 2021. Something shifted. You overcame an obstacle. You powered through with the mountain. People are talking about that. People are talking about you're not the same person you were last year in 2021 compared to 2022. You're really, you don't appear the same. You don't act the same. 33, let's go. Master number. You're becoming a master of your craft. You're being given the skeleton key. A key that can unlock any door. Like, How does Libra have this knowing? How does Libra have this knowledge? Where does Libra get this information? It's like secret. People may tell you their secrets. Like me, you could have been this natural type of counselor all your life. Even strangers come up to you and tell you their stories. And you help them or you may counsel them. You've become a master. For some, you can blend in anywhere. I heard master of disguise, chameleon. Some people could feel like they've seen so many different sides of you, Libra. Who are you really? Wow. 31 at the bottom, the sun. With the key, these two cards together? 31 and 33 tapped in man I have to get out the book because this means something very specific and very positive for you Libra but yes like I was saying it seems like you have so many different sides to yourself and nobody knows what they're going to get and it's not bipolar. It's, and it's not fake. It's just, we're the only inanimate sign. Like a key, right? An inanimate object. We're the only inanimate sign. We're just different. We're a little more difficult to pin down. The key plus the sun. Happiness unlocked. Happiness unlocked, Libra. You deserve this happiness. You really do. 
One more card for Libra. What's the word on the street? Oh my gosh! The stars! The star card with the heart at the bottom. You are adored. You are loved. 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, all on the clock. 20, it's just like to 2031 and beyond, Libra. You're discovering your purpose. You've discovered your purpose. You're moving from your heart chakra. And it's so beautiful. You continue to shine through the dark like the stars. You could be a way shower like the North Star. You could be showing people the way through their dark. You could be the light. You could be the heart, the key. Through other people's dark nights of the soul. Sixteen and twenty-four. The heart plus the stars. Let's see if there's a meaning in here. Oh my gosh, the stars plus the heart equal a loving blessing. You just got happiness unlocked and a loving blessing. People think you are a loving blessing in their life. It's so beautiful. That's so beautiful, Libra. All right, let's get some channel messages. Okay, word on the street about Libra. That is such beautiful energy. You have the attention of someone at college or spirit is urging some of you to go back to school or pursue um, higher education studies. We have the college card. It says associates, bachelor's, master's, education, PhD, studies, certification, specialist, professional, many different titles. Ah, word on the street is Libra. Many different titles. It seems to me you wear many different hats. Let people's misunderstand. If some people misunderstand you, just let it roll off your back. We can't make everyone happy, right? And you can't make everyone understand where you're coming from. Some people just are determined to misunderstand you. Wow. These two cards just came out together, Libra. Word on the street is... He is loco, she is cray, and they're not talking about you. You are better than that. This person is childish, petty, low vibe, and they blame others for their problem. The tables are turning on these people or this person. That has been disgustingly obsessed. Like, obsession could be an understatement. Of how much this feminine or masculine has been trying to come for you, Libra. But the tables turn. Karma and fate are stepping in. Bottom of the deck. The birds are chirping. What was that meme? Oh my gosh, it was so many years ago. But it was somebody singing and they were like, The birds are chirping. Good morning. Something like that. I have to find that. Oh my gosh, I'm going to try my best to find that and repost it on my shorts. I'll try my best. Anyways, the birds are chirping, Libra. Flying, melody, sing, bird's eye view. That's you. 
raising, I'm telling you what, the hermit, you're elevated. Seven of wands, you're elevated above the hate. You got a bird's eye view, Libra. I just heard enjoy this ride. Enjoy the ride. All right. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I enjoyed giving it to you. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, stay balanced, stay blessed, Libra. Until next time, peace.